Yep, here we go again. Wars and rumors of wars and pestilences. Pestilence in diverse places. That's what the prophecy says. So now we hear reports of swine flu. And every day we keep hearing the contradictory reports about this whole swine flu um, outbreak, epidemic, or pandemic. You know, this, this is why education is so important. And when we look into the the works of our forefathers, of the first proclaimers of Rastafari, such as Leonard Percival Howell. I don't know how many of y'all know about Leonard Percival Howell, but I definitely would advise you go and check out, I think on the internet, the promise key is at the sacred text site, the sacred text site. Look up sacred text and the promise key, and you'll probably find that that documentary work um, written documentary work of our brother Gang Ganguru Marah, also known as Leonard Percival Howe, one of the first proclaimers of Rastafari, and one who was one who was martyred for his testimony to the King of Kings. Yet in his Promise Key, in his um, scroll called the Promise Key and Rastafari prophecy. He teaches us how to fast. He reminds us of the importance of, of how to fast. And because of time con constraints, we don't have the opportunity right here to even touch on fasting. But when we study the Ethiopian Hebrew, the holy history of Ethiopia, we recognize that fasting played a, an important role within the life, within the life, I wouldn't say style, but within the, the way of life of the liberty, as we were saying, Rastafari, of the true holy Ethiopians, the Ethiopian Hebrews. So fasting is very, very important. It's very important. There's medicinal and medical reasons for fasting. I'm not giving you a doctor's advice because you should, you know, the whole issue about doctors, we was checking out this program on doctors. It comes on Think Channel 2 here in New York. Um, you know, the doctors, uh, Dr. Phil's bullshit doctor's son or whatever like that on this program telling people that if you're sick then don't go to the doc don't go to the hospital if you're sick you know what you should do is call in and then the doctor can prescribe something to you he can kind of like over the phone you know assess your situation but I thought that if you're sick the doctor before he prescribes anything the doctor is actually supposed to see you he's supposed to see the patient but this BS doctor's program on TV, Dr. Phil's BS doctor son, basically is advising people not to go into the doctors. You know, so not to go to the doctors. So, you, you know, you got to think about that. But check this out right here. And the promise key, because on this issue about the swine flu, the swine flu outbreak, there's a difference between outbreak, first when it happens is an outbreak, and then if, if, if a lot of people get it, you understand it becomes like an epidemic, then if it's found in many different places, it's called, scientifically speaking, it's called a pandemic. You understand? And really, it's, it's a pandemic already. You know, the Center for Disease Contro Control. Check that out for a moment. Word, sound, and power. Make sense out of seeming nonsense. The Center for Disease Control. They're not even called the Center for Disease Eradication, but they're called the Center for Disease Control. Make you go, hmm. Make you check out even the zeitgeist and some of the other programs about population reduction and everything. But this is all part of the prophetical signs that gave to Yesus that Adonai Yehoshua already forewarned us of. So when we see the swine flu pandemic or really the pestilence that was spoken of in scriptures, for example, in Luke 21 and 11, Beliu liu sifra chenefer wawrereshin beshita yehonal. That in one place after another, or in diverse places, which scientifically, if a disease occurs in diverse places, is called a pandemic. So the Wengel of Lucas, Luke's Gospel, Good News, chapter 21, verse 11, is speaking of and warning us that in these last days of the Gentile dominion, that there will be these signs, wars and rumors of wars, uh, pestilences in diverse places, 
famine, food shortages, there'll be earthquakes, there'll be increase in, in lawlessness, all forms of lawlessness, that people will faint out of fear, out of, out of terrorism. There'll be disobedience to, to, to parents, to the parent principle of God and Christ. There would be lovers of money. People will be lovers of money. There'll be lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, lovers of truth. The many that would have the form of godliness and godly so-called devotion, but they will prove false to his true power, to the true power. You understand? Um, and the ruining of the earth is also the next one. Pollution, so-called global warming, which is really global harming. You understand? But that's written in Revelation chapter 11, verse 18, which speaks about the pollution. You understand? The polluting of the earth and the destroying of the earth. But our brother Leonard Percival Howell, he warned us about the courthouses and, 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 and the doctors. You understand? He said in the promise key, he taught us how to fast. The importance reminding us of the Ethiopian, the Hebrew principle of fasting, of, of how to heal of how to heal ourselves See, about education why education is so very important so when you hear these BS doctors and these BS news stories on, on in the media you'll be able to pick sense out of nonsense and know exactly what they're saying as well as what the truth is in what they're saying or if there's any truth in what they're saying Education should be free and compulsory, but because education is not free and compulsory, that's how they're able to continually fool, you know, saying, fool the masses. Now they're talking about closing schools like for two weeks, but they're saying, hey, it's not really a problem. You understand? It's not really a, 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 a epidemic or a pandemic. No, 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 no. You understand? But check this out. Leonard Percival Howell, he said not to follow. He warned us not to follow courthouses. Their false and misinterpretation and using law for wickedness, you understand? Uh, injustice in the form of justice, you understand? And these BS bullshit doctors, you understand, will fake you to death. This is the advice of Leonard Percival Howell, one of the first proclaimers of Rastafari. But definitely, this, this whole idea of swine flu, first of all, they say that it comes from the pigs, right? This disease, this flu. You understand, has come from the pigs and um, spread to humans. And they say that in the fight of Mexico and the pig farming, and you know, this is your meat. There's a documentary on, on the YouTube. Check it out. It's called This Is Your Meat. Look it up. This is your meat. This is your food. Talking about the cruelty that they do to the animals. The same animals now that they feed to people and the same animals that they eat. You understand the, the mad cow disease, the, the bird flu, and you know, SARS and all these things, all these things are beginning to get worse. You understand? But this is prophecy. You understand? If we stick to the word of prophecy in true faith and, and, and obedience to the Savior, you understand? We will overcome. We will come out of this okay. But if we follow their so-called courthouses and their BS doctors that tell you even on the doctor's program, they say, uh, if you're sick, just just don't go to the hospital, but but call in, stay home. They say, if you're sick, stay home. Don't come to the hospital. That makes you think like, do they really have a handle on this? You understand? Or are we, you know, busting this time stream continuum? You understand this time stream continuum, and really the prophecies of the scripture are really fully rolling. You understand? Are fully in effect, as it says in Luke chapter 21, verse 11, that there would be pestilences pandemics in diverse places in one place after the next but liu liu sifra chenefer warreshin beshita yohona right after world war one check this out for a moment right after world war one more people this is fact more people died of the spanish flu right after world war one than had died of any disease epidemic in the history of mankind and that was located to one particular area even when he talk about the black flu so from so on, that was basically located to certain areas it wasn't like a full-blown pandemic but because of this modern the travel and transportation and age and technology people can move around you know saying, all over the world and the interconnectedness and everything that's where we're gonna get a pandemic 
we talk about the pestilences in the diverse places because that's the scientific definition you understand of pestilence equals pandemic all right now the Spanish flu after World War one had um, killed more people more people died because of that disease that disease epidemic in the history of humanity the death toll was some 21 million people yep here we go again wars and rumors of wars and pestilences pestilence in diverse places that's what the proxy said